Green, renewable, and environmentally friendly technology was the focus of a congressional hearing on energy development and research. Secretary of Energy Stephen Chu criticized U.S. dependence on oil and said laying the groundwork for a clean energy economy is the first step. The Recovery Act will put people to work in making our homes and offices more energy efficient. It includes $5 billion to weatherize the homes of low-income families. The plan also includes incentives to spark private investment in clean energy and job creation. The second step is support for science and research that could lead to new technologies. I strongly believe that the key to our prosperity in the 21st century will lie in our ability to nurture our intellectual capital in science and technology. That approach was supported by others at the hearing. George Crabtree is a scientist at the Argonne National Laboratory in Illinois. He provided a look at the next generation of energy technology, including high-efficiency coal and nuclear power, solar, wind, and geothermal power, as well as plug-in hybrids and electric cars. Next generation energy technologies are an unprecedented global economic opportunity. The question for us is whether the U.S. will be buying them or selling them. The Obama administration came in for criticism for its lack of support of nuclear energy. Republican Senator John McCain. Nuclear power has got to be an integral and vital part of America's energy future if we're going to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Robert Fry at Resources for the Future, an environmental research institute, said it's unclear which technologies will become the standard. It is still too early to pick winners in our search for energy technologies that will adequately address the challenges of energy security, economic viability, and climate change. As the prospects for new technology become clearer, there will be more hearings on Capitol Hill. For producer Zulima Palacio, Milar Sega, VOA News.